everybody, Wonky Puppy here, bringing you another Let's Play video inside of Stardew Valley. Uh, it's the 7th of summer in our completionist farm. And uh, let's start the day off like I always do uh, by checking the weather. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Fantastic. Uh, now let's check our fortune. Welcome back to Welwick's Oracle. Welcome back to Welwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, you've come to the right place. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Ooh, and the Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. Uh, this week's dish is baked fish. Whenever I eat this one at home, my two cats go bananas. I need I need a second chef around just to keep them from hopping on the counter for a bite. Uh, just make sure the fish is fresh, preferably caught with your own rod. Now watch as I place the fish on a bed of spring greens. You learned how to make big fish. Fantastic. Okay, well, let's hop to it then. Uh, so first things first, we still don't have all the sprinklers we need, so we need to go ahead and start the day out by watering the areas that are not already watered. Uh, so I'll do that and be right back. Okay, and I am back. Uh, and also, one of our radishes, or our only radish, I think, is uh, done. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in the bin as well. Uh, that probably came out of a mixed seed, I would assume. I don't think we actually bought any radishes for any reason. Um, so yeah, I mean, a little bit of a surprise, but you know, that's fine. Uh, okay, let's throw this bar of copper in here and probably put something else on to smelt. Um, now, uh, thank you all so much for voting in the, uh, the spouse challenge that I posted on, um, on the, the channel. Uh, you guys voted and Abigail is going to be our target for, uh, courtship. Uh, she is going to be who we try to marry. Uh, now she loves amethyst and I don't have any amethyst. So I think today is probably a good day to go ahead and, uh, go mining for some gems. I definitely need more gold and I need more, um, iron. So that would be a good thing to do regardless. So we're going to keep an eye out for amethyst and, uh, we are going to go and try to get some more, uh, silver and uh, I'm sorry, iron and gold. I was like, it's not silver. <laughs> yes, iron and gold. Um, so yeah, I guess let's hop straight to that. Um, yeah, this way. Oh, uh, I was like, I know I'm forgetting something. I forgot to pet my cow. I gotta remember that I got a cow now and I have to, have to have, gotta take care of my animals. Gotta do it, it makes me wanna beat this barn. There we go, oh no, Mr. Cow. I love you. Uh, I'm thinking of also moving the barn over a tiny bit to be closer to that grassy area, but I'm not I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. Uh, I definitely don't have the materials I'd like to have in order to build a fence around it at the moment, so I'm just going to keep feeding him uh, hay for at least a little while. I see something here. Ooh, prehistoric uh, hand axe. Okay, that's an artifact. Uh, I might just go ahead and drop that off on my way through since I'm already heading this way. Uh, I went this way, the longer way, because I also wanted to check the calendar and the quest board on my way through just to see if there's anything we can do to make up a little bit of cash. Uh, let's see, tomorrow is Gus's birthday, so I'll have to give him something nice. And, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smash the calendar. Uh, does anybody have extra quartz laying around? Uh, sure, 75 gold, that's nothing, nothing bad. Um, if I get some and I happen to cross Pam, I'll go ahead and hand that over to her. No reason not to, really. A little bit of extra gold and quartz is something I get a ton of, more than I will ever actually use, so uh, no worry there at all. Uh, let's go ahead and drop off this artifact that we picked up out of the ground on our way over. I'll just put it up here. Ooh, easy for me to say. Uh, yeah, now let's head up to the mines. Do a little bit of mining. Keep an eye out for any other artifact spots that we could possibly dig up too. So we do need quite a few artifacts in order to complete everything in the game. 
and that's probably going to be the last thing that I'm able to do, is what I would guess, because there are just a ton of them. You end up getting a lot of duplicates as you go along in the game, too, which is very annoying. Alrighty. I love the music in summer. It's just so nice and chipper and happy. Just super chill. I like it. Hello, Demetrius. Um... Ooh, there's a spice berry down here. Don't mind if I do. I might give this to Linus, actually, since he's right here. This is a great gift, thank you. Uh, I forgot to read that. My bad. <laughs> um, oh, I need to check my trees. I'll do that on my way back through, no worries. Hopefully they're starting to grow up a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay, let's head down. Uh, I want to focus on the gold area, so let's just go all the way down and maybe we can get a few more levels while we're at it. I'm not going to try to get to the bottom of the mine. Uh, I am going to try to get resources. Ooh, fire quartz, excellent. We can actually complete a bundle, I think, with that. That'd be really good. But I think this is a diamond. Diamonds are amazing. Super high value, which I like. Oh, we got some mixed seeds. We'll probably plant those next season. Ooh, mushrooms. Very nice. The red ones aren't too bad, but the purple ones are super valuable. Oh, yeah, and I see that we have a... We have a green light on this level, which means this is the mushroom level. If you're not aware of what the mushroom level is, uh, there is a, a level in the mines that moves every day uh, that has mushrooms on it. And today, that level is this one. And because it's actually so low, what I'm actually going to do is leave the mine and just keep spawning that level. And just try to make a ton of money. Oops. Try to make a ton of money through mushrooms today. That kind of changes all of our plans, but that's totally fine. Because this is a really good way to make a lot of short-term cash if you find this level. Uh, and most of the time when you stumble across these, uh, when you stumble across the mushroom level, you can't really exploit it this well because uh, it's not close enough to an elevator. Uh, but with this one, I literally, I don't have to find any ladders. I can just go straight through, use the elevator, and go down the ladder in that one, um, that one spot, which will always be there and get these mushrooms. So we're probably going to make a lot of money today from these mushrooms. It's going to be a good deal. Super fortunate for us. I'm glad I paid attention and saw the um, saw the green light. Otherwise, I would have just completely overlooked this. That would have been terrible. This might get a little repetitive, so if it gets uh, too boring, I'll probably just cut ahead in the video. But um, yeah, if you're not aware of this, this is definitely a good thing to know about and to be um, on the lookout for, because this can really give us a lot of uh, a lot of money for not a lot of effort. You'll see. You'll see once we go through and get all of this down, exactly how much we're going to get out of this. I'm trying to think what the best way is to get a whole bunch of amethyst. I think it might be to bust open some of my geodes, but I am going to get a bunch of like gemstones that aren't like traditional gemstones that you find on the ground. Oh, I gotta have to take these guys out. I was hoping I could just like grab the mushrooms real quick and go out, but that is a ton of gold down there and I want all of it. I want all the gold. So I'm just gonna have to take him out this way. There we go. Nice. Uh, fortunately that that beam move that they do that gives you that status effect. It doesn't actually hurt you. I think it just really lowers your defense so that other people can hurt you even more. So as long as you don't run into them um, and you avoid their other attacks, they're really not that hard to take out, especially if it's just those guys. The danger becomes if there are the, the masked ghouls like around other enemies that do damage. They will definitely amplify the amount of damage that those other guys can do, and it can be devastating if you're not careful. Your life bar can go down super fast. Cool, this is so much gold. I'm really happy with this. And we're getting a lot of purple mushrooms too, which is fantastic. It's gonna be a ton of gold that we are gonna get out of this. I don't think that we need any more purple mushrooms for anything else either. I'll double check that before I before I put them all um, away, but I think that we're actually doing pretty good on community center items overall. All right, let's knock you out, and I'm gonna just destroy this box real quick and get that ruby. Uh, I was hoping to find a glow ring in there, but I didn't, and that's fine. Uh, get a ruby, and let's eat the sweet pea real quick to save a little bit of room and a couple more salmon berries because I know I'm gonna use that energy up and use it all up. All the energy, use it all up. Yeah, let's go ahead and leave the mines and oh. 
I didn't want to do that at all. Leave the mine again. All right, let's head back to level 80 in the area. No, not the area. Level 80 in the mines! <laughs> um, and keep moving. Uh, not a ton of mushrooms on this one, but we found the quartz that Pam wants. So that's good. Uh, I'm going to just avoid the slime because he's not worth my time. Do I not have room to pick this thing up? What's going on? Oh, there we go. Whoop. Avoided you. All right, let's leave again. Head back through. And like I said, I know this might get a little bit boring because you're just watching me go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to the same basic levels to get these mushrooms. But it is a good learning experience, right? Maybe? Maybe? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and smash this stuff up too because getting this fiber and some of the mixed seeds I think are gonna help me out later on in the game um, And like later on we're gonna need to do a bunch more scarecrows or we're gonna need to do uh, Junimo huts or Jumino. Jumino? I never know. Is it, it's either Junimo or Jumino <laughs> uh, Whatever those little green apple people uh, We'll need to build some huts for them and you need like 200 fiber per hut um, And that lets you get um, automatic farm picker people so they um, they hang out on your farm they pick your crops for you which is very nice Ugh, these guys are annoying I probably don't have to take him out I could probably get away with just running around in circles oh 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 okay so we're just gonna grab this guy and this guy and this guy we'll leave the oh no I'll go for it I'm a sucker <laughs> let's go let's get this let's smash this and make our way out of here. Do not want to fight all those bats. That would not be fun. Not fun at all. I was still able to get everything in that one though. Uh, probably shouldn't have, but I did. Ooh, <gasps> three purple mushrooms on one level. That is nice. I think each one of those is around a thousand gold too. So this is going to be a good day. Very good day. Very, very good day. Here we go. All right, let's smash this gold. Like so, get this copper, and get that last red mushroom, smash that box, and head out of here. There we go. Alright, it's already 8 o'clock, so we're probably going to take this pretty late, probably till around 11 o'clock or so, uh, just because I don't want to leave any money on the table. Ooh, a bunch of red ones. Again, red aren't bad, but they're not great. Maybe you get five of them, you know, that's definitely worth something. Mushrooms! Can you imagine if I found this on a good luck day? There'd be even more mushrooms! It'd be crazy! Nuts! Ooh, there's a purple one right there. Purple ones are the priority, definitely. I wonder if there's different qualities of these as I'm picking them up. I don't remember there being different quality mushrooms, but I'll have to check that out here in a moment. But again, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to waste a bunch of time going through my inventory and, and all that. I just want to get as many mushrooms as I can. I think we made two runs in the 8 o'clock hour. Yeah, I'm going to try to just... Oh, you healed somebody else? That was weird. Let's get you, you... You slice that up, slice this up, and head out. Leave the mine. Ha ha. Yeah, we're getting two to three runs per hour. Ooh, there's some aquamarine. I would stop and get that, but that would really slow me down, so I'm just going to keep going. I'm trying to get as many mushrooms as I can, especially the purple guys. Here we go. There's a purple one. Um, and we got two more down here. Smash this up a tiny bit. Oh, I didn't even see this guy up here. Gotcha. Let's leave the mine. And head back down. We got three in that last hour, so that's pretty good. Let's see if we can get three more in this in the 10 to 11. This will be our last hour of doing this, I promise. And then we will head down uh, back to the house and tally up exactly what our haul is this time around. It's exciting. Leave the mine. And I think that the mushroom level moves up once per day, uh, but it doesn't, but it has to be below 80. So this is literally the highest it'll ever be. 
Um, I am going to get this purple mushroom and this one gold node. Oh. 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 Oh, come on. Oh, come on, red mushroom. And I don't have time to break that one free. And let's head out. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay, let's do one more run. I am pushing it. I know I'm pushing it, but that's okay. I, I feel like there's going to be a purple mushroom on this level. And there's not. Okay, let's just head out. Leave the mine. Nope. Okay. I don't want to get myself into a position where I start losing items or whatever. Oh, okay. So we got one gold quality purple mushroom, 10 normal quality, nine, is it? Or five? I can't see. I think maybe five silver quality purple mushrooms. Oh man, that's good. It's like 16 purple mushrooms. That's insane. Uh, six silver quality red mushrooms, eight gold quality red mushrooms, and 28 normal red mushrooms. That is so amazing. I cannot believe that. All right. So let us check I don't think time will advance while I'm doing this. Hopefully, anyway. Um, let's check the community center. Make sure I've got everything donated that I need to donate. I think it was the exotic bundle uh, that had mushrooms in it, which is here. Uh, okay, so I can... Ooh. No, I'll just use my tapper stuff for this one. I, I could put a, a, a purple mushroom in there, but there's... It's kind of a waste. I can just put uh, some pine tar in there and that'd be a much better use of money. Um, Cause these gold, like I said, these these purple mushrooms, they are worth a fair amount. Um, I really only want to use a purple mushroom in a bundle if that's the only thing that'll satisfy the bundle. Uh, geologist, no. Oh, but I do have the fire quartz for that. Ooh, and I can do all these. <gasps> I can repair the mine carts. Ooh, I'm so excited by that. We're gonna do that. We are gonna do that in the next episode. Absolutely we are. Okay. But, uh, whoa, whoa, there is, sorry, there is one more bundle. I promise you, there is one more bundle where you need a, uh, a purple mushroom. What is going on with this menu? Uh, let's see, bulletin board, yeah, maybe field research. Okay, we already put that one in, cool. Uh, so let's sell all of these mushrooms. Um, probably need to donate that to Gunther. Um, we're not donating that fire course to Gunther. We're putting that in the community center because that's going to be so amazing. Let's pet our puppy super quick before we forget. And let's go ahead and head to bed. Yay. Yeah, let's go ahead and go to sleep for the night. See if we got anything. <gasps> Ooh, foraging level five. Do we want to be a forester where wood is worth 50% more or a gatherer where we double the harvest of forage items? We're definitely going to go with the gatherer perk. There's a ton of benefit to that. So any item that's marked forage on the, um, when you look at the item category in your inventory, you have a chance to get twice as many of those items when you forage it. So that applies to a whole bunch of stuff on the beach. That applies to those mushrooms that we just got. Now, if we had found those, those mushrooms um, after getting this perk, then we would have really, 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 really leveled up and gotten a ton of mushrooms, way more than we even did. And really the reason I just for I, le I leveled up my foraging so much is because of those mushrooms, because there were so much money. Uh, okay, so we're definitely doing uh, Gatherer, because with Forester, I mean, I never sell wood. I just, I just hold on to it. You always need wood. Look at that. Almost 8,000 gold just from mushrooms. And with the purple mushrooms made up, quick math, 8, 19, 2, almost 4,500 of that. So definitely pulled their weight. I had way fewer of the purple mushrooms and they, it was, uh, well, I don't know what, uh, significantly more than the, the red mushrooms. Uh, wow, so that was a, that was a great day. Um, so we didn't do what we wanted to do, but we still made a lot of money and had a really, a really good, uh, episode. Hopefully you guys learned something about that, because that I think is something that people don't know a lot about in this game, or a lot of people don't know about, I should say. Uh, but anyway, I am going to go ahead and cut this video here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget that I need you to join the Wonky Army. Do that by hitting the subscribe button and joining the best community on YouTube. Uh, if you like the video, please let me know that by hitting the like button. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!